नमस्कार दर्शक बिन सधैं जस्तै आज पनि हामी सूर्य वेलनेस योगा सेन्टर र भक्ति दर्शन टेलिभिजनको संयुक्त प्रस्तुतिमा चलिरहेको कार्यक्रम अरुणोदय योगामा फेरि पनि यहाँहरुलाई हार्दिक स्वागत गर्न चाहन्छु आज हामी अरुणोदय योगाको आठौं संस्करणमा आइसकेका छौ आठौं संस्करणमा पनि यहाँहरुलाई आज हामी बाहिरका विभिन्न रमणीय स्थलहरुमा योगाका फरक फरक आसनहरु यहाँहरुलाई प्रस्तुत गर्ने छौ अब भने लागौ योगातर्फ Namaste. Welcome to the new series of episodes on of Arunoda Yoga. Today's set of episodes will actually be around the energy management of the body. Partly the ser- the series or the practices will cover the internal healing aspect of the body with the practice and many more. Just keep on watching and uh, the different positions that we will do is a sequence of practice if you did these practices in this sequence you will feel as if your body is buzzing with the high energy with the release of so many unwanted internal thoughts and impressions so let's ready for the new episode of arunoda yoga as usual we will start with body awareness breath awareness and prayer and then we will involve ourselves completely with our practice om bhura bhuva swaha om tat savitur varenam bhargo देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदयात् ओम भूरभुवस्वः ओम तत्सवितुर्वरेण्यं भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि Take a breath deep in and while exhaling gently open up your eyes and stand up the name is pavan muktasan we need huge strength around the different joints of the body we rest or the the joints of the fingers elbows shoulders neck back the different joints of the legs so we will try to nourish or release undo tensions from these reasons of the body with the next practice get ready legs both of them close hand close with the body palm on the ground body straight and stressed this position could be tried with one leg or both the legs for the beginners we should do the practice with one leg at a time the result is equivalent get ready first fold the left leg up and keep your left foot on the ground gradually move your left leg towards abdominal region just stay over here for some time and feel the gradual refinement in the pattern of breath now catch hold of your left knee with the locked palm and try to put maximum possible pressure from the left leg towards abdominal region at this point of time one should not be in hurry to raise head upward first pay attention to the contractions building around the different joints of the hands left leg and slowly head up and chin 
very close with the left knee. Stay over here for some time. Each time you exhale, you're releasing the internal contractions from the joints of the hands. Mentally, try to stay around the different joints of your body at this point of time. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, left thigh joint, left knee, neck, upper back. Keep traveling inwards all the time. The moment you feel uneasy around the neck, drop your head, take rest and again try. But if you're fine, just stay for some time more to get the effect of the position. Head up, chin very close with the left knee for some time. Hands back by the side of the body and the left leg back towards the ground. The same practice to be done with the right leg. Fold the right leg, right foot on the ground, hand close with the body. Keep your foot on the ground. Hands on the ground right now. Foot on the ground. At this point of time, just feel the internal easiness spreading around the legs and around your back. After absorbing that relaxation, move the right leg towards abdominal reason. Move leg towards abdomen and catch hold of the right knee with the locked palm and try to put maximum possible pressure from leg towards abdominal reason. Awareness, attention, the different joints of the hands and the leg and gradually head up and your chin very close with the right knee. Body as much still as possible. Mental stay inwards. Breath as running with the position. Just some time. Gradually, head back, hands back by the side of the body, right leg back towards the ground. Spread your legs, spread your hands, loose up your whole body and take rest in Shavasan for some time now. Before doing the practices on the abdomen, we'll again do three rounds of sun salutation. We all are aware that the practices which we are doing are the practices of Hatha Yoga. The sun and the moon channels balance. The positions which we are trying are actually easing out the body, more mental and the sun salutation will heat up the body to get strength to perform these practices. Very important to club sun salutation with our practice. Now one more time slowly wake up and stand up. After exhaling two times, Pranam Asan. हस्त उत्थान आसन, पाद हस्त आसन, लेफ्ट लेग फ्रंट, पर्वत आसन, स्टंगिक नमस्कार, भुजंग आसन, पर्वत आसन, लेफ्ट लेग फ्रंट, पाद हस्त आसन, हस्त उत्थान आसन प्रणाम आसन हस्त उत्थान आसन पाद हस्त आसन राइट लेग फ्रंट पर्वत आसन स्टंगिक नमस्कार भुजंग आसन पर्वत आसन राइट लेग फ्रंट पाद हस्त आसन हस्त उत्थान आसन प्रणाम आसन हस्त उत्थान आसन पाद हस्त आसन लेफ्ट लेग फ्रंट पर्वत आसन स्टंगिक नमस्कार भुजंग आसन पर्वत आसन लेफ्ट लेग फ्रंट पाद हस्त आसन हस्त 
Thaan Asan Pranam Asan Hasto Thaan Asan Pada Hastasan Right Leg Front Parvat Asan Shtangik Namaskar Bhujang Asan Parvat Asan Right Leg Front Pada Hastasan Hasto Thaan Asan Pranam Asan Hasto Thaan Asan Pada Hastasan Left Leg Front Parvat Asan Shtangik Namaskar Bhujang Asan Parvat Asan Left Leg Front Pada Hastasan Hasto Thaan Asan Pranam Asan Loose up legs Hands at ease for some time and let the body absorb the effects of your previous attempts. Now, time to do the practice lying on our abdomen. Lie down on your abdomen. Lie down on the abdomen. Legs spread at the back, ankle inside, palm joined, head over it, body completely loose. The first position that we will try will be the practice of Bhujang Asan. We will do two different options of Bhujang Asan. Get ready. Any practice, prone practice lying on abdomen, we'll start with the legs close, head on the ground, body first at ease. Get ready for the practice of Bhujang Asan. Palm by the side of the chest, elbow pointing towards the sky. Gap between your legs around the feet, toe on the ground, and your attention, spinal column, neck, even head. Stretch the legs. With the stressed legs, your knee will leave the ground and pressing your palm slowly and gently, head, neck, trunk up as much as possible. Not to keep hands straight, keep your elbows bent and look up towards the sky. Create a nice curve around the spine. With your breath moving in and out, feel the movement of air around your lungs. Mental stay, lungs, frontal part of the trunk, abdominal region, back, lower, upper hands. With the moments of restlessness, feel free to get back to rest and again try. But if you find just some seconds more. Gradually drop your trunk back towards the ground. Body still in that same preparatory position. We'll repeat the practice but with slight variation this time. Legs both of them close. Toe heels touching each other, palm by the side of the chest. And this time we'll just raise head, neck, trunk up and we'll try to keep the navel reason on the ground. There's also there are different versions of Bhujang Asan available and all are serving rightly on the body. We need to stay with the position for some time to feel its effect. If or for the point of point of therapy to cure the ailments of the breath just try this position for at least 10 minutes a day holding it for different timings as per the strength or the condition of the body huge potential but to heal the body you need to have the connection of the posture with your breath 
you just need to feel the simple movement of air around the lungs while you hold the position of Bhujang Asana. Now we'll do another practice. The practice has the potential to deal with the energy management around the pelvic region. It has the potential to deal with any reproductive systems disorder and at the same time it will serve the back. Get ready for the practice. The name of the practice is Salab Asan. The different variations of it will stick with one of them. Legs both of them close at the back, chin on the ground and your closed feet under your thighs. Mental stay lower back, pelvic reason and then gradually raise your right leg up to one feet from the ground. Keep your chin on the ground. Legs straight, stressed. Just stay for some time over here. With the moments of uneasiness Get back, take rest and again try. But if you're fine, just stay for some time over here. Sensing the abdominal movement with the breath. If you feel uneasy with your chin on the ground, relax by keeping forehead on the ground and again chin back towards the ground. With the position each time you inhale and exhale, you should feel some movement of air from your toe up to your thigh. And in turn, that movement will spread all around the pelvic region, curing the ailments of that region of the body. Just some time. Gradually drop your right leg back towards the ground. Legs still close at the back. Palm or close feet under your thighs. Chin on the ground. The preparatory pose. Gradually keeping your left leg straight. Raise it up to one feet above the ground. Just a feet. The beginners to try it out with a feet distance. If you feel yourself to be termed as the advanced practitioner, you should raise leg as much as possible. Both options are available. Just some time, keep sensing abdominal movement with the breath and try to be aware of the movement of air while you hold the position from the left toe up to your thigh and in turn spreading all around the pelvic region just some time to get effect to find the benefits of something you need to bear pain to some extent gradually drop left leg back draw your palm outside join your palm put your head over it spread the legs at the back and take rest for some time the position might give some heat to the body because to hold the position initially you might feel uneasy. Do it within the limit of your body. Get ready. Legs both of them close. It could be termed as the variation of the Salab Asan. Chin on the ground, palm by the side of the chest. Legs, both of them straight. First fold the right leg and pressing your palm towards the ground, try to lift your right thigh from the ground as much as possible. And keep contracting abdominal reason as much as possible. effects similar to the previous position but this will try to open up some blockages 
around the upper part of the legs, helping the body to attain some more postures or gradually building up the body for the further sets of practices. Just some time. Palm pressed, chin on the ground, hand close with the body. Gradually drop right thigh back. Open up the right leg. The same practice to be done towards the other side. Fold the left leg. Palm close with the body. And after exhaling for a few times, gradually left thigh above the ground as much as you could do. The position could cure the ailments of the lower back region. And to achieve such internal healing, you need to club the posture with the breath. Breath has the potential to deal with the internal problems or the diseases of the body. And the yoga postures has all the potential to kill any sort of disease from the body. But you should do it with some understanding. Gradually, left thigh back, spread the legs, and take rest for some time and let the body absorb the changes for some time. One more position lying on our abdomen. The position will work on the core and the hand more. Although each posture is actually serving all the components of the body, depending on the holding time. Postures initially are centered around one component and if the holding time is getting increased, the rich or the spread of the posture is the overall body. Get ready for the position called as the plank pose. Legs both of them close, head on the forehead on the ground, palm by the side of the chest. Have gap between your legs around 4-6 inches and keep your toe on the ground. And slowly, first leg stress, your knee will leave the ground and pressing your palm, lift your body upward. The whole weight of the body over your toe and palm and gaze towards the front. Body must be straight, it must not be hunched like this or this. As much close to straight as possible. Initially, you might feel difficulty with the posture. So just hold the way you could do. But keep this thing in mind that you should keep body straight and keeping gaze towards the front. And then, after some time of the practice, you surely land up with the close position. Keep inhaling and exhaling and keep sensing the experiences of the hands from palm up to the shoulder joint, legs from toe up to the thigh joint. Wherever you will take your mind, there something will happen on the body, releasing the contractions and releasing the probable diseases that may arise from that area of the body. Bend your elbows and drop your whole body back towards the ground. We'll repeat the practice for one time more. Let the body absorb the effects for some seconds. Keep your body loose. Elbows drop towards the side, legs loose, trunk loose. And after exhaling deeply for a few times, one more time, get ready. Legs stressed, knee will leave the ground, palm pressed, hand closed with the body, forehead on the ground, the preparatory pose. 
The preparative poses are very important because it is only the intermediate path which will lead you to the perfect posture. Get ready. Press palm, lift your body up, trunk straight, gaze front. And the body engaged in inhalation and exhalation. We should at least hold the position for 15 to 30 seconds time to get its effect. And with the strength increasing, you could hold it for a minute to three minutes time to reach towards the great benefits of the plank position. Bend your elbows and drop the whole body back towards the ground. Ankle inside, joint palm, put your head over it and take rest for some time and let the body absorb the effect of the previous attempt. Now, before getting ahead with some practices on sitting, we'll again club the posture with the three rounds of sun salutation. The practices which we did for these two episodes should continue the sequence of this practice to make a whole set of practice for your daily yogic lifestyle. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. धन्यवाद दर्शक बिन आजको हाम्रो अरुणोदय योगाको आठौं संस्करणलाई हेरेर यहाँहरुले साथ दिनुभयो तपाईहरुलाई धेरै धेरै धन्यवाद र आज हामीले आठौं संस्करणमा विभिन्न योगाका आसनहरु यहाँहरुमा प्रस्तुत गरिसकेका छौ यो आठौं संस्करणलाई पनि यहाँहरुले भक्ति दर्शन टेलिभिजनको युट्युब मार्फत हेर्न सक्नुहुनेछ र आजका हाम्रा यो गुरु विशाल सरलाई पनि धेरै धेरै धन्यवाद हामी फेरि पनि उपस्थित हुनेछौ